another new month and another video for us to react. Sounds about right. So, the last three episodes of Everything Wrong with an LP were Swarm of the Century, When to Wrap Up, and Call of the Cuties. Yes, Applejack, those were the episodes we reacted to. The next three episodes are Weatherfall Friends, Suited for Success, and Feeling Pinky King. Oh, boy, some good episodes all lined up. Uh, that is true. Both me and Rainbow Dash are competitive ponies. I'm gonna press play in three, two, one, I go! All right, first one, all weather friends. The iron phony, you mean. I still have the closest throw. Or at least you did have the closest throw. For hey, close enough. Fall Weather Friends, also known as the Ashley Ball episode. Yeah, Spike's it focuses on Applejack and Rainbow be Dash. From here, shouldn't he be at the finish line? Not only did AJ nudge a barrel, but she missed this one entirely. Dash does as well. Rainbow Dash should not be sweating this much after one little run. Looks like Fluttershy had her bet on Dash from the start. Or maybe I've already placed a point there. Fair, Spike would be tired the second time around and therefore making it much easier. Hasbro is really pushing for that Rainbow Dash pinata. Oh, Rainbow can I hit you? What? No, silly? Using wings in a competition with an Earth Pony is racist. In a society where races are not judged by I think I cheated with my wings there. Abilities, you'd think something like this would cause more of an uproar. This jump. I call hacks. A fire Rainbow Dash cheated needed, more. But no offense. Out of place None here? take it! Uh-oh. I'm like Wily Coyote. Twilight is outside the library here, then she takes a couple steps, and instantly appears on the other side of town without any break in conversation. My assumption is that the running of the leaves is more of a tradition rather than an actual requirement for the falling he of the leaves. does that have that a point! Said, this line is pretty ironic. For without it, the autumn leaves of Equestria would never fall! Yeah, boy, it sure does like sound ironic! Inconsistency. So here's a point for all the times that runners' numbers are incorrect in some way. Oh. These flags. What? Did you stretch out your eye muscles to warm up? Well, yes, actually. What? Well, that Since was the quick. balloon follows the race, we're the only spectators receiving Pinkie's coverage. Although I'm sure Pinkie Pie is well aware of that. Simply put, um, Pinkie, Pinkie Pie need is to wrong. recalculate that. AJ and Dash are side by side here, but then suddenly Rainbow Dash disappears and passes AJ shortly after. This is the first of many times that some pony puts the race on pause to engage in a casual conversation. If you slowed down and looked where you're going, like me, you'd see that you tripped over a rock. Ha ha ha! That joke was good! Now they're both back in the lead? What is this, Mario Kart AI? Uh, yeah? Rainbow Dash blames Applejack for tripping her, even though Applejack was nowhere near her. And why Rainbow would she do that? Rainbow Dash. Double, Double Rainbow. Rainbow! Remember, Rainbow, this is just a game. I lose. Yeah, I won! Is just lying to herself now? It's incredibly obvious that Applejack had nothing to do with her accident. Look, Ma! No wings! Subtle jab at Applejack's dead parents. Oh, you mentioned our parents? All too perfectly atop her head. Applejack would never cheat. <gasps> yeah, about that. Not the bees. Egghead. The original storyboard is visible here. These ponies are standing in midair. Berry Punch must have given Red Bull a try. Princess Celestia out of nowhere. Why does she take the time to visit Ponyville to view the scenery, but rarely when they actually need help? The real sin is the poor background pony that got first in the race, but will never receive any deserved recognition. Oh, Bon Bon! Or mudslide in your case. One down, two more to go. You're not an athlete, you're a... well, you're an egghead. I am not an egghead. Now that cracks me up. I want to swallow it. No time for puns, Fluttershy. Duck face. Duck face. Huh? Inconsistent saddlebags. Rainbow Dash crashes through Rarity's ceiling and breaks her mannequins. Yet uh, Rarity doesn't seem I think upset. I need least to be careful. This second bucket appears out of nowhere, and the first one disappears entirely. Rarity breaks a leg. Ouch, my leg. How did Rainbow Dash forget about the gala, the place in which she hopes to meet her lifelong heroes? And since when does she think fashion shows are fun? All of Rarity's furniture has disappeared. Rainbow won't look like a tank. Apparently tanks are cannons. She's afraid to hurt the sharp headwear. I think Rarity secretly has far more magical ability than what she lets on to. Here we see something that Twilight could only do as part of her high-level studies, and even that is nothing compared to the visual display she later puts on. They're complete idiots for not liking Rarity's dresses. The new new gown is extremely lacking compared to the original. The 
She's not wearing any sleeves, mini collar, or lapel, so this can play something against at all. And I would think that most clothing machine stitch from blanket stitch would likely be ugly on a dress, and I don't recall Fluttershy being size, so of course it would be casual. Well, okay then! Orion is a man. A human. Enough said. The colors too obtrusive. Discussing obtrusive colors with Pinkie Pie. It needs to be about 20% cooler. I would like oh, to hear more from Gatsby so? this form of precise coolness measurement. Make sure that it stays within our budget. I don't think free favor can be part of a budget. This tense swaps between being in and out of focus. Well, maybe I happen to mention it to him. Spike has connections in the fashion industry. Fart sound. He <laughs> your for the next few days, thinking out loud. Every pony run, the lights have become sentient. I guess Hoity Toity had to use the restroom. Leftover animator's note. This looks nothing like her original request. These dresses are so bad that Derpy has fainted. Everything but the kitchen sink! That just Let's not sink that in! No pun intended! Apparently Equestria has Grand Theft Auto. Egghead! Any of all ponies were able to make that, I think Rarity's out of a job. And how were they able to steal unfinished dress and full-size mannequin without Rarity knowing? Beats me! I don't like it, I love it, cliché. So if Hoity Toity is from Canterlot, did he just wander around Ponyville while Rarity had her little breakdown all those days? He doesn't seem like the type to do that or make a special trip twice. These dresses are levitating. Levitating dresses! <gasps> Lens flare. Pinky enters shock zone. I think Hoity Toity is about to fall into a cartoon hole. This stage was only big enough for one pony a moment ago. You shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth. But the, but they are... That line hurts my brain. Yeah, mine too! Oh, Taco Bell! Only in both America and Canada. Oh, oh, I want one! Oh, Spike, there are no Taco Bell here. I love it! Dramatic rarity? Yes, Spock, there are no Taco Bell here in Ponyville. I was joking, all right. You better listen. My ears are flopping, my ears are flopping. Spike's necklace shares in his pain. Pinky senses a great disturbance in the force. I wonder Finn. what it might be. I'm not sure if this frog is dead or just really depressed. Pinky's cutie mark should not be visible at this angle. Twilight Sparkle has lost connection. Pinkie Pie is a litter bug. This frame. Feels like I'm stretched out. Believe in this too. Twilight language? Because that happens so very often. Oh, hi, this Gummy. This tub appears to be lacking a drain. Gummy's attempts to kill his captor prove to be in vain. I still don't believe all this special power stuff. Said the magical purple unicorn. Twilight learned this one from a street preacher in Canterlot. You might walk backwards while carrying something to open a door, but why is he still walking backwards? Because if I walk normally, then I can't see where I'm going. Yes, science! Pinkie Pie's erratic heartbeat. Spike appears to be quite urgently searching for Twilight. Well, I can't never see that Twilight is the at the door! Place. How do hooves work? Do you know. Twilight's eyes can still be visible in the binoculars, even after she puts them down. Not the bees! Not the bees! No wonder we don't see much of Derpy. She and Raindrop are wanted for attempted murder. She's Twilight's just right clumsy. And it's gonna happen. Yeah, Froggy, for vague and immediate events, that was pretty specific. What if she exploded? Angels should have never dared her to consume soda and pop rocks together. Yeah. Maybe she's in the tree. Pinky's ear should be flopping around about now. <laughs> What's the Hydra's other neck doing all the way over here? <laughs> what? It's Pinkie Pie. Than me, Froggy. Don't question it. This bush disappears. What would a brave pony like Rainbow Dash do? Probably fly away. You know you're having a bad day when you sit on your own face. Never well, happens! Come on, we've seen Twilight teleport much farther than this. What is the Hydra doing all this time? Just standing there- Oh look, it's gone! Disaster averted! Bubbles, how do they work? Books! Books! Your Twilight Sparkle has evolved into Rapidash. And here's your Pokemon come on, reference! Come an animator had fun here. Why is Spike using disappearing ink? Oh wait! I can't write letters, letters to Celestia with no ink! Laughter. But then he is awkwardly cut off when he realizes it's not time for a fade out. It's an atomic bomb! Let escalate it quickly! But anyways, that were episodes 13 through 15 of everything wrong with MLP. Once again, there were funny moments there. Haha! <laughs> Indeed there were!
First, we have Twilight, Books, Joke, and now Rainbow Dashes. Egghead, Joke, Egghead. <laughs>